it's great to chat with you all again. Yeah. Uh, I'm really excited about this Christmas episode because it was a lot of fun to watch. Uh, and I love the reference that it, it, it kind of seems like the first Fantasy Island Christmas, perhaps. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, yes. What, what does it mean to these three characters? What, what, what happens for their, I guess, development in a way? Because a few things change. I think a lot of things change, and it's very evident that throughout the season, we're getting closer and closer, and the season finale, Christmas special, we become a family. We're together, we're going to make this work, and we're going to be open to possibilities, and it's almost like a sense of relief that they're just, okay, I'm going to accept. I'm going to accept. You know, Mm. and it was beautiful to watch. Yeah, I think, oh, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was going to ask, what about for you? Oh, I was going to say, Ruby definitely has fallen into letting life be and letting go fully. And it's really fun. Once we get to the Christmas uh, special, you get to see this really just relax Ruby. She's just letting life be and she's going around the island. And also she is a huge Christmas fan. So she's more so pushing the Christmas agenda pretty hard (laughs) on the island um, and trying to make things happen. So um, it it will be really fun, I think, for the rest of the viewers to see Ruby just not literally let her hair down because we didn't really have a lot of hair, but um, just let loose. Um, and and it's it's a really fun, bright, cheery show. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's these three characters, um, you know, really, I think, bonding and, and coming closer and accepting that this is what we do. This is our mission here on the island. And now it's 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 the trio, you know, and we we all in some in some part, we help change people's lives. You know, so we're accepting that and we're all like understanding roles and and becoming more comfortable with one another. And I love the fact that there was the no ugly sweaters rule at the beginning. Oh, yeah. but, <laughs> but then at the same time, there's there's a lot of other kind of the fun, cheesy bits of Christmas that I think a lot of people enjoy. And going into the 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 movie, basically, and everything else. Uh, did any of you kind of relate to some of these bits or their pieces that were, you know, felt kind of homey to you? Mm. I think tradition in general, it's like when you get together with family and it seems silly like the secret Santa and organizing all this stuff. But then when you're in the moment, it's so fun. And you just, I think you have so much enjoyment just seeing someone else beaming and, and laughing and smiling. I think that's the fun part of it. I mean, for um, my family, our tradition is to um, listen to the Polar Express all year. You know, you could we could have modernized it and just tune into a movie or something, and made a watch party. But no, we turn on the like actual audio book of the guy reading it and we all tune in, listen to it over a phone call. But it's something that I've done since I was literally a, a baby And now that, you know, my brothers have kids, so my new nieces and nephews are now part of this tradition. I think there's just there's just this nostalgia factor of it, of feeling home again. I love the holidays. I love it. I think people are happier around Christmas time, you know, and I think you can just genuinely see it. And maybe it's because um, people are more in a giving spirit because you're thinking about others. You're thinking about buying a gift. You're thinking about cooking food. And I mean, there's a lot of love in that. So people are just in general, much more happy, you know, and that's, I mean, I love it because of that, you know. We put the the Christmas tree went up Sunday Mm. and I had um, my, one of my brothers flew from, he lives in El Paso, Texas and went to Vegas to meet me and then came here for three days with my niece and nephew. And my boy Dylan is just turned four years old. And his little face, because, because I think it's the first time that he comprehends, you know what I mean? Like year, last year, she, he's still growing. And it's the first time that he comprehended the tree and we're going to decorate it and Santa and gifts and family because the house was full, you know, with my nieces and nephews and my, my, my brother, my sister-in-law. And we did, we'd all did the tree together, which I don't remember the last time that I did a Christmas tree with my one of my brothers, probably freaking 40 years ago you know what I mean a long time um and it was incredible we had such a great time and my little boy's 
his face the entire time was beaming and he felt so he was so helpful helpful you know and he was like putting the ornaments and to him he was like it meant everything. I couldn't believe it. I'm going, God bless him, man. You know, like the innocence and the happiness that just putting a little ornament, he, it was, it was just incredible. And that's what Christmas brings to people, you know? Yeah. Sure. Well, thank you all so much. It's been a pleasure watching this season and uh, congratulations because I love the arc that, that has come out through this, this whole season. So it. thanks a lot. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Thank you.